Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Najee Jeter. I'm playing Miles Morales in Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. Miles' game is a continuation of the first Spider-Man game. You'll see Miles' new powers, his world, who he really is, his family, what he's all about. Uh, hey! <laughs> Dude, I am so filling your suit with snow. Are you still wearing your suit? Yeah, you know, just in case. So Miles' personal growth and story is rooted in tragedy, just like the other Spider-Men in the comics. I think that the death of Miles' dad affected him greatly. I think Miles was a little lost. He was impacted in an emotional way and he looked to his dad and then that hero is gone. I think what's most exciting about Miles' new abilities is the fact that the story is really centered around how does Miles become his own Spider-Man alongside but separate from Peter Parker's Spider-Man. So Miles and Pete do share some similar powers, but Miles has camouflage, has little venom powers, is a little faster. He's going to feel different from, from the previous Spider-Man. See, this is my favorite part of living in Harlem. Pop-up street fair, best food in the city, awesome music. Living in Brooklyn, because that's where we lived as a family, it's a painful uh, reminder of our life together. So we go back to Spanish Harlem, we get an apartment. Being in Spanish Harlem, he becomes a whole new person. He has to adjust to new friends, to a new culture, to a new community. From what I've seen of Spanish Harlem, it's both rugged and beautiful. You really get connected to the lifeline of this part of the city and, and what's going on. Miles, what's the underground doing? They're after new form. Go, go, go! Stop! Whoa! With every great hero, there's always a villain. Let's not shoot each other, all right? The villains in the game give Miles the pressure put him on his toes, get him thinking all the time. So on the outside, Roxanne's motivations appear to be helpful and positive. You're gonna have a love and hate relationship with them. You'll get to find out in the game who they really are, what they're really about. We think we have Roxanne as the only enemy, and then Roxanne has other enemies, but they're not necessarily after the same goals that we as a community in Spanish Harlem are. The underground is no good. They have a leader that Miles is not too fond of. They come in not just to threaten Roxxon, but to threaten us. Now we're dealing with some really scary stuff. The game is action-packed, exciting. No! really emotional. We are gonna get the fans on their toes, man. I am definitely looking forward to playing this game. We cannot wait. It's gonna be mind blown. I'm telling you.